Hey everybody, it's Jason here from Mac and Tech, and I'm going to be doing another Wirecast video. This video is going to be about some of the layout options you have to kind of um, be able to separate all the things that are in Wirecast and move them where you want on your screen or if you have a secondary monitor, things like that. As you can see, we have Wirecast open right here, and we basically have the basics going here. You have your your layers and everything in your shots here and it's all on the same screen so you know you full screen it and stuff it's all together now what you can do here is you can actually separate the shot list and what you can do is you go up to window new layer select whatever layer you want and then uh, that puts it in its own window then you go up to the layout in the main wirecast window and deselect main shot list and basically, you have Wirecast in its uh, own little window there, the preview and the live view. And then you have your layers here in its own window as well. And uh, basically, what you want to do, if you want to show all of the master layers on the side, just go to Layout and then click Layer Panel. And then you have all of your shots you laid out. You could also do it if you wanted to kind of separate its own thing. Okay, well, you have uh, Master Layer 3 has these shots, and then I just want to have a separate window for titling. Well, you can do that right here, and then you have your titles in its own window, and you can drag them wherever you want. It gives you some more flexibility to put what you want on the screen wherever you want it. Another thing is, in the layout, you have the option to be able to look at the Master Audio, so then whatever you're saying or whatever, will you can control your audio right on the right here. It shows right on the screen um, what's going on for as a level meter. And then you also have the option to do output statistics so you can see what your data rate is. So when you're streaming, it'll give you the FPS, frames per second at that time, your CPU usage, the data rate, and how long the broadcast has been going for. So it gives you you know lots of flexibility in that way to see what's going on and stuff or if uh, your CPU usage is too high or if you're dropping frames if it's not at the actual frame setting that you set for your broadcast things like that and the data rate which is pretty important is uh, you want to see what your data rate is and things like that so yeah if you have any questions you can uh, leave a comment below in the video or send us a YouTube message or email questions at macintech.net. If you like our videos, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash macintech. And if you want more information on the Wirecast, you can visit the Telestream website at www.telestream.net forward slash Wirecast. I'm Jason, and we'll chat at you later.